This study looked at the combination of adenine calibrutinib, which is a covalent BTK inhibitor, uh, to the, one of the standard regimens we give in frontline mantle cell lymphoma, which is bendamustine and rituximab. Uh, so calibrutinib in the study was given at 100 milligrams twice daily, uh, starting on uh, cycle one, day one, and continuing to disease progression or intolerance. Uh, bendamustine and rituximab were given for approximately six cycles, bendamustine on day one and two, every 28 days, and rituximab on day one. Um, as I stated, the purpose was just to tolerate, evaluate the safety and the efficacy of this combination. So uh, in this study, we had two cohorts. One was a treatment and naive cohort, which enrolled 18 patients, and one was a relapsed refractory cohort, which enrolled 20 patients. So 38 patients in total were enrolled. Uh, from this combination, we did not find any new safety signals. Uh, very low incidence of some of the more common adverse events noted with BTK inhibitors, such as atrial fibrillation uh, and infection. Um, what we did notice was a high efficacy rate, especially those uh, with uh, the treatment naive cohort, uh, with a complete remission rate approaching almost 80% at the combination arm. Uh, moving forward, I think the biggest takeaway from the study is that this sort of led the way to the phase three trial that's looking at bendamustine, rituximab, and calibrutinib in combination with bendamustine, rituximab, the ECHO study. Um, so uh, at this point, we're waiting the results of that phase three trial, but this is sort of like the precursor that allowed them to engage them justification for proceeding ahead with that phase three study.